Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my full face of first impressions from all the products that I showed in my last video. I have so many new things that I cannot wait to put on my face and put to the test. I'm also kind of nervous because obviously it's all new stuff. It could make or break the look if I use one wrong product. So as you can tell, I have a new background. This is a backdrop, obviously. I'm also using my studio lights because I live in Florida and a storm just came out of nowhere. It's still pretty early and it looks like it's almost nighttime outside. So if you hear any rain or thunder, I apologize. Not much I can do about that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. It might be a long one. So again, grab a snack and let's just get on into it. So I'm gonna start with eyes today. So to do that, I need to prime, which as you guys have known from my past videos, it's still the same. I use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer to prime my eyelids. This is just the regular one. I will be trying the hydrating one today though. I usually like warm lighting and the studio light is not warm at all. Now I'm just adding tape to make a sharp edge for my eyeshadow. This is like the oldest trick in the book and it works great. All right, so I'm not even gonna set my eyelids because I really want the colors in the palette to translate. So for the palette today, I am so excited. I am using the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. So this I just got yesterday. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself because why not? So I have been seeing this palette all over YouTube and I think it is so beautiful. Oh my God, it was not cheap. It was pretty pricey. It was $65 for this palette, but I was like, you're gonna treat yourself. You never do, you're gonna treat yourself. I don't know what look I'm gonna go for. Maybe something to match what I'm wearing. Maybe something like blue, cause these blues right here are so pretty. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with a clean M441 brush from Morphe. I'm going to tap into the shade, I think, Relief to go in my crease. It's just a pinky peach color. I'm going to run that all through my crease. So upon first impression of just this color, they're pretty pigmented. They're not patchy. At least this one is not. There is a little kick up, not too much, nothing I can't handle. So I feel like I kind of want to go in with a green, but I don't know. I don't want to mess up the look. Next, I'm going to go in with Vigor. It is the maroon shade in the palette. I'm just going to use the same brush. Same thing with the kick up. I'm going to focus this one more on the outside. All right, I'm gonna go in with the shade Mantra and just hope to God that it doesn't ruin the look. I'm gonna focus this on the outer V. That is pigmented. Wow, holy crap, that just covered everything. I'm gonna go back in with my M441 and just blend. Wow, okay, so that covered up pretty much all of the red. Okay, I'm gonna go back into that peachy shade and blend that on top of this teal. I'm just gonna go in with one of the duochrome shades, which is Yama, and I'm going to put that on my lid and try to save it. I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm just gonna use my finger. I feel like that shade's just so dull. Like, where is the shimmer? It looks so pretty swatched, but it just does not translate on my eye. Okay, so with the tapes removed, these are the eyes. They're not horrible, they're just not amazing. I feel like it's not picking up on camera that it looks better than that. I mean, I feel like it looks worse on camera than it does in real life. They're just not sparkly. I was hoping for some like pop, but there is no pop. 
I'm gonna move on from the eyes before I get a little upset. So for primer, I think I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So here's what the bottle looks like. It has a pump. I'm just gonna squeeze some onto my hand. This is supposed to be a dupe to the Milk Hydro Primer, I think it's called. Oh yeah, it's definitely tacky. You see that? Mm -hmm. It feels thinner though than the milk one and it almost feels more hydrating. It smells good. It's like a really light fragrance. Okay, it dries down really fast. It's very tacky, watch. <laughs> Do you see it pulling? Next, I wanna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Mine's in the shade 2.5 Fair Pale. I hope this still works well with this primer underneath. I'm just gonna put a stripe there. Blend it out with my fingers. Oh, it's definitely giving me a glow. Oh my God. That is so pretty. I don't know how sanitary it is to keep dipping the doe foot back in, but it's my face, so. You some on my chin. Oh my god, that's so glowy. As I'm doing this, I just realized that I didn't even wet my beauty blender. I have to get up and go do that. For some of my cupid's bow, I wanna put some down my nose. A little on my forehead up here. To some of you, this may be overdoing it. I don't care though. I just went to my sink to wet my beauty blender. This did not look as bad. I have warm lighting in my bathroom. I think it's just this cool lighting. So we're gonna move on. So for the other star of the show, we're using the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and it claims for long wear. I got mine in the shade Warm Beige. Let's read what it claims. It says, true skin, but better. Hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish. We'll see. Medium to high coverage with a comfortable skin feeling. So it has a pump. This is a pretty nice pump. The bottle's glass too. It just feels luxe almost. So I'm gonna take some, squeeze one to two pumps on the back of my beauty blender and just see what happens with that. I hope this matches. So right off the bat, the coverage is nice. In this lighting, I can see all of my texture. It doesn't really have a scent or anything. In my studio lights, the shade match isn't bad. The one thing I have to say about this, I could be wrong, but I think it's limited in shades. I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I will let you guys know at a later date how I still like it. Next, I'm gonna do my cream contour with the LA Girl HD High Definition Concealer. This is the Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. So Carly Bible uses this and every time she uses it, it looks really pretty. Therefore, it made me want to try it. All right, so it's just a brush applicator. I am so nervous for this. I'm gonna use this new Morphe M436 stippling brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this where I'd put my usual cream contour. Oh God. That is creamy. Now I'm just gonna blend it out. Oh no. This could be horrible. I might've gone in with way too much, so I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. A little goes a long way, and I learned that from the last time. This brush is also not my favorite. I have been using a different brush, but I didn't want to use it in the video because I think it's discontinued. 
This brush isn't bad. I just feel like I don't have as much control. I also tend to like warm tone bronzers and this is much more cool tone. All right, I'm just gonna try and go in and fix this now with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. As you guys know, I love the regular camo, so I wanted to try the hydrating one. This is in the shade Light Sand. I'm pretty sure my other one is in Light Sand as well. Oh, damn it. My other one is in Light Beige, so Light Sand is a little more cool tone. Why did I just do so much? All right, I'm just going to blend this out. By the way, I used the e.l.f. Total Complexion Sponge, I think it's called. This is one of my favorite sponges. I forgot to use my Glow Wand by Tarte. I have been loving that, but I should probably just try this on its own. I'm going to conceal my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my forehead. All right, so that concealer creases very fast underneath my under eyes. I think it's because it's hydrating. So next I wanna do cream blush. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. So here's what it looks like. It's pretty small. It looks pretty though. So I'm just gonna dip into this and apply it straight to my cheeks. That is gorgeous. I love that, hands down. One of the best things I've tried in this video. It's just like a warm flush, and you can build it up as I'm doing right now. I like to put blush on my nose and on my temples as well. My chin, I just like to put it everywhere. I love blush. All right, I'm just going to set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. You guys know I love this. I don't have anything else new to try, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. All right, so I want to take a slight break from the face, and I want to move on to brows really quickly. I just put a little color on them with a pencil, and now I'm going to use the Revolution Soap Brow. I have no idea how you're actually supposed to do this, so I am just going to use a spoolie and spray it. I think that's how it works. You don't spray the spoolie, you spray the product. We'll see. All right, here goes nothing. I think you wet it, and then you coat your spoolie in it. I am nervous for this. Is it working? I should probably do this when I don't have makeup on my face. I think that's how you do it. I think you're supposed to wear them like that, but I'm not doing that. I don't pull it off. I think I look like the Grinch. Do I have short enough brows for this? I think my brows are way too long for this. My brows are stuck to my face. I think I want to try this again without anything else in my eyebrows. The next thing I'm going to do is bronze with a powder bronzer. And I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer. I don't know. Don't ask. I used to love the regular one. So let's see if this one's just as good. Still good. My eyebrows look weird. All right, so I think I may like the older one better just cause that one's not matte. And I obviously, I don't prefer to be matte. I know I look really matte right now and I'm not entirely loving my makeup right now. Moving on, I'm going to do powder blush and I'm using the MAC blush in the shade Melba. I know that this is old, but it's new to me. Ooh, that's pretty. It's really pigmented, but it's pretty. There may be hope, and at the end, this may all come together. Because sometimes there's just looks like, oh god, that was too much. Okay, too much on the nose. So next, I am using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in... Why is it? Loser Highlighter Pewter? Oh, I am reading. I'm smarter than your average bear, guys. I promise. I'm just reading the wrong language. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Bomb. So it comes in this really pretty packaging. It's pretty small. This scares the crap out of me. So I'm just gonna use this brush. I'm gonna dabble in actually to the cap. I'm not even gonna dare touch where the sifter is. 
and oh that is reflective Oh my god, that is stunning. I'm gonna highlight my nose. My Cupid's bow. My chin. I'm also gonna go with a smaller brush and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone with this. I'm gonna spray my brush for this step. That's the prettiest inner corner highlight I've ever used. That is pretty. They're stunning. Love it. Back into the eyes with this palette. So I am going to go into Vigor with a M410 brush from Morphe and put that on my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with a bigger smudger brush and going in with Relief and I'm just going to blend that underneath my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to line my waterline and tightline with a black pencil. So now that that's done, I want to put on some lashes to kind of elevate this look to the next level. And I'm going to use the Kiss Lashes in the style Brazier. Guys, you should see my filming setup. It is a mess right now. So my lashes are on. And isn't it crazy how lashes can just elevate a look and change it completely? I need to put on mascara to blend them together. I don't know what you guys do, but I do my mascara after my eyelashes. Because I feel like it's harder to put my eyelashes on when I have mascara on. Before I do that, I need to do setting spray because I don't want to do it when I have mascara on because sometimes it can run. So what I'm going to use is the Maybelline Glass Spray. So this says, makeup finishing spray, skin looks hydrated, dewy finish. It says to shake well. Alright. That spritzer is kind of aggressive, so. Even though the spritzer is aggressive... It's pretty fine, and I could spray it straight on, and it would get all of my face. So I'm going to push that in. Wow, I love that. That just changed the appearance of my skin. It made me look so glowy and refreshed. I don't know if y'all saw that happen right before your eyes. So to blend the lashes together, I'm going to use the Morphe Make It Big Mascara. It's a volumizing mascara and it's in the shade Bold Black. It says, innovative wand designed and coated for pump-free use. Do not pump product will build up. Wipe off any excess with a tissue. Comb through from root to tip with a back and forth motion. I know Jaclyn Hill likes this and oh my god, I love this packaging. I know that I said that in my haul. I love the embossment. The wand is really nice. I am just going to coat my lashes and blend everything together. I know it sucks, but I can't really say much about the mascara because I can't see it on its own, but I will try it again on its own and I will let you guys know further down the road how I like it. However, for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this wand is definitely better for the lower lashes. It's like a it comes to a point almost. All right, that is amazing. I know, again, you can't really tell. I'm sorry, guys. I keep messing with these eyelashes. But it literally separated every one of my bottom lashes and made them so long. I can't wait to try that on my top lashes. So next, I'm going to line my lips using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. I've used a couple shades of these, and I do love them. This is just a different shade that I haven't tried. It's like a brown nude. I used to not care for lip liner, but it has changed the game for me. Especially ever since I got lip injections. All right, now that my lips are lined, I'm gonna go with this Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Libra. It's just a brownie nude. It almost matches the lip liner perfectly. Oh yeah. All right, you guys, that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I liked some of the products. I dislike some. I also don't like this lighting. Like, I feel like it would look so much better with warm lighting because cool lighting is just not good for me because I am not a cool tone gal. I just am not.
a lot of these products were hits. A lot of them were misses. I want to keep playing with the Natasha Denona palette. I think the color combination just kind of scared me. But now that I have lashes on, everything's together. I think it looks really pretty. I just really wish that the shimmery shades had a little more sparkle to them. Although there weren't many sparkly, glittery shades, I do love the mattes. I think the mattes blended really beautifully. And I think they were really pigmented. Like that teal color, you can really see it. Someday I will try to use it in another video so that I can show you again. Or I'll just come on for a haul and wear it and tell you what I did. I will continue playing with it. But other than that, almost everything was a hit. I don't think there was really anything that I did not like. This soap brow, it's not that I don't like it. It's just kind of confusing to me. I want to try it again before I do the rest of my makeup because it kind of laid down my hairs that are on my forehead. Maybe I just need to wax, but I usually don't like to do wax because I get very irritated and I get bumps. So I usually pluck. Maybe I just need to like shave right up in here or get it threaded again. I've been doing my own brows since COVID. I don't know the last time that I went and got my brows done, but I do want to continue playing with this. I want to, I want to find out if I love it. Other than that, everything was great. We definitely had some stars in the show and those three things were the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Stra Strawberry, the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury, and then this Maybelline Glass Spray. So the mascara, so beautiful, separated my bottom lashes. I will try it again on my top lashes. The Hollywood Flawless Filter, this made me so glowy and it, my skin just looked so healthy when I put it on. Like I would even voucher to say that I would wear this out, just this and some mascara and maybe some brows. And I don't ever do that. It's either no makeup or a full face. My favorite thing I would have to say, and it's kind of sad that my favorite thing was a setting spray, but it was this Maybelline glass spray. As soon as I sprayed it on my skin, I saw a difference. My skin just lit up. It wasn't as dry and cakey looking anymore. And my skin just came to life with this. So I will continue using this. Also, the spritzer is really nice. It definitely is like intense. It scares me a little bit sometimes, but it evenly coated my face very easily. So I have nothing bad to say about this. With all of that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you guys continue to have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future content and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I also want to see some comments down below on future videos that you would like to see. Help me out in getting out content that you guys would actually enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.